Look what just got shipped to me all the way from Scotland. What do we have here? <clears throat> this is the upper and lower exhaust heat shield. This goes underneath the muffler and the exhaust system. This goes over, although this thing's pretty bent up. So um, I'm looking at all these different pictures. These are printed out actually. They're from just various different videos on YouTube and photographs of people selling exhaust systems so that I can at least know how to put this guy back into shape. The other one's in pretty good shape because it helps you understand just how much exhaust you can squeeze in there, right? Especially this guy. So why do I have this? Because I'm basically trying to figure out just how much, look at how much, look at how much exhaust I can actually stuff in there, right? So, but look at this guy. This guy actually comes up higher than, you know, where the entrance points are for, for the, um, where the exhaust comes in off the catalytic converters. So I'm thinking you can go up as high as this tab right here, which is this guy right here, which means that you could get up to like here before you had to stop. Lots and lots of room to play with. So that's why I've got these is because I'm going to actually cut these up into pieces and, and then kind of put them back together like a puzzle around the jig, right? Like this will go underneath the muffler area. This will go above it. And this will help me decide how much, let me look at all that room. Look at all the room I've got here to work with. That's a lot. This is where the two brackets are, the lower brackets, right? This is where the two upper ones go, this guy and this guy. And here's where the, the, um, the expansion parts, the expansion joints come in, see? So what have I got here? Um, this is uh, pretty crazy, right? This is basically the upper and lower exhaust for 720S on top of one of my three uh, exhaust systems that I've got here strapped into the jig. And why am I even bothering to do this? Well, to me, this is the keys to the car. This is basically the heart of the project. I was so, I was so, so happy when this stuff showed up. It came from SCB Auto Dismantlers in Scotland. Those guys, peace out to these guys, man. They totally helped me out. They sent me this stuff a little bit dented. I had to straighten it up a little bit. It's okay. Came in a box from Scotland in like less than a week for less than a hundred bucks. Okay? So, um... What am I doing here? Basically what I'm doing is noticing how much, like this much space, I've got above the two expansion joints. How much room there is above the muffler. I'm shaking my hand up like this far. You know, how much room there is below. A lot of times you'll see guys making aftermarket exhausts. The first thing that they'll do is go down real low right here, real close to the brackets where it mounts down at the bottom here, and they'll get some tubing in there. I happen to know from looking through the back of my McLaren that I could literally just stick a tube like straight across here from here to here and it would be fine. But as you can see, my exhaust is telling me another story saying, hey dude, there's no, there's no shielding here. So you would probably need to get another junkyard piece of exhaust, you know, shielding like this and sort of mount it onto that piece so it doesn't melt the plastic tray that goes underneath the wing okay but you could do it you could put exhaust back here if for whatever reason you needed to you could almost double up the height of the exhaust tubes on these two sides if you needed to now so it's a little uneven right now and i know that and i'm basically trying to see if i can figure out how to mount this by in, in a way that where it's actually representative of the way the car actually looks so um, I can see a lot by looking through the back grate of my 720 with a little flashlight and I can especially get like this registration here, you know, so the next step is to just kind of quickly make a few little welds, to, you know, support pieces that hold this stuff in place properly. There's these little bolt holes. They don't need to like, there's two here, there's two that are cramped here. They don't need to line up perfectly. I'm probably not going to actually weld stuff there. But the point is to basically get this as close as it would be if it was inside the car. And I have like a McLaren on a table. Now, why do I care so much about doing this rather than just, you know, welding it all up to the car? Well, number one, I can't drive the car while it's down. Number two, you don't want to be sitting there cutting up tubes and walking back and forth and scratching things and welding inside of the car. You want to build it on the table, right? But number three, I don't have one of those really expensive, you know, 3D scanners. They cost like 10 to 20,000 bucks. I don't know how to use the 3D development tools to create an exhaust using that system. And the other thing is, frankly, even if you do all that, you're still not absolutely sure it's gonna fit. With this, this is practical. I know that it's going to fit. Now take a look at this and tell me that I don't have just a ton of space to deal with here. 
This is actually really cool compared to most exhausts you're gonna work on where you're screwed because you don't have enough space, uh, especially when it comes to, you know, vertical height. Um, look at this, man. Boom, boom. All the way down there, all the way up there. Wow.